lecture mm. called the uh, origin of life mm. it was given by a well known biochemist his mm. name is uh, professor stanley miller mm. he was talking about the origin of life yeah. so what is origin of life he said there are 20 amino acids mm. 20 of them which are necessary for the maintenance of life the living entities So he was discussing how these amino acids are formed mm. before the dawn of creation, and uh, he had so many theories, mm. all nonsense. They so did not protest. <laughs> yes. Then there was uh, <coughs> after his lecture, it was one hour long seminar, and there was question and answer. Mm. So they invited questions. Nobody asked. No. So, so you did not ask. No, I asked that around. <laughs> <laughs> I asked that. Uh, <coughs> Your topic is about the origin of life, but you are not talking about the origin of life. So I just there is no basis of your uh, arguments. Very good. <laughs> then, then I I ask, supposing I give you all the <coughs> chemical materials, yeah. say the molecules like uh, uh, amino acids and the with molecules like DNA and RNA, yeah. these are the molecules yeah. which this thing necessary for the maintenance of life. Supposing I give you all the these uh, chemical uh, uh, compounds, yeah. then do you, do you think that we'll be able to put life into it? Yeah. If you get all the chemical materials necessary, yeah. but uh, will you be able to put life into it? Yeah. Then he said, I do not know. Yeah, that's why you're talking nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> then, then the people did not laugh. Yes, if no, everybody was silent. Huh? Everybody was silent. Because uh, everybody believes that life started from matter. Uh, all the uh, in the audience. Uh, so I said, uh, uh, your uh, basis means life started from matter. That means uh, he was saying that when the art before the <coughs> life started, there was no living entities on art. Then I said, how do you know? <laughs> there was no living entities on art. Uh, <laughs> Then he could not answer. That's it. Very good. <laughs> yes. You have to go and lecture all the universities. <laughs> That will be our mission. There, there was nobody to challenge till now. Now we are creating persons to challenge these rascals. That is our credit. Uh, till now, whatever nonsense they are talking, people thought, "Oh, he is a big scientist." Now our scientists will protest against them. Stop them talking our nonsense. That is what we want. A man like me goes and protests him. He may say, "The first of all, you come to my level, then I shall talk with you." Now he cannot talk with you like that. 